Okay, so here's a quick ref sender tutorial for some of you who may still be having problems getting your account set up. I'm going to use my son's account here. Um, he's a new referee, and uh, we'll quickly go through what we can see. This is the ref center homepage. Uh, as you can see, he's got a schedule of two weeks that are up here. Uh, if you go into preferences and homepage settings, you can set it up so that you see two weeks. It'll default to just showing you one week across here. Uh, but this is his schedule for the next two weeks. Up here in the top left, it says next game. It gives you the details of your next game. You can also see that in the calendar here. Uh, if there were any outstanding game offers uh, that you have, it will show up here. It will push this uh, orange tab over, and there will be uh, a dark blue heading here that says Offers, and then you can click on that and follow. Uh, so quickly, just to make sure that you're set up properly, uh, the main thing here is your availability. This calendar here, you want to get it set up. Uh, my son, as you can tell, uh, he plays on Tuesday nights, uh, goes to church on Sunday mornings, so he's left those ones out. Uh, but everywhere else he has made himself available and once you do that click update uh, a lot of people forget the step here clicking update or as you'll see in a lot of the screens to come uh, clicking submit is important um, but if you do not set up this calendar it defaults to unavailable so any referee assigner who's looking to give you games uh, cannot assign you games at all if you're unavailable so uh, you definitely want to make sure the calendar is set up properly uh, any game offers that you receive, uh, once you accept them, they get moved into your schedule. Uh, if you're a little uncertain of field locations, uh, we can click the tab here and you can pull down uh, any fields uh, here in York Region will show up here. Uh, just quickly, we'll pick one, uh, Audrey Sanderson, which is right near the Newmarket Soccer Club office and uh, gives a little Google map of Audrey Sanderson. So that's nice and convenient. Where we want to spend most of our time here in this tutorial is in preferences. We want to go preferences leagues. Uh, my son, uh, being a grade one, he's a small-sided referee, um, is set up just for club games, uh, but also, as has been mentioned, you want to set up your region soccer league so that uh, uh, for him, anyway, he can do many games that we at the Newmarket Soccer Club assign in Newmarket on behalf of the York Region Soccer Association for matches in the York Region Soccer League. Clubs. Uh, you can see that Newmarket is grayed out here. That's his default club, the home club. Uh, but he's also limited to games in Aurora, East Grownbury, Lake Simcoe, uh, perhaps for the OSA. Um, and you want to select any clubs here that you are interested in doing games for. Once you've done that, click Submit, as you must do at the bottom of every page. Uh, tournaments, we won't bother with that because it's sort of a dead screen. Uh, but days when you're available, uh, you click your preferred days. Not much to select there. Uh, fields, this is super important. So all of the clubs that he said he's willing to referee in will go into Newmarket. You have to go in and, and select all of the pitches that you're interested in. I would strongly recommend, particularly for local referees, that you click everything preferred. Uh, when game assigners give a first look at giving people for games, the system will show them anyone who's clicked preferred. It will not show us anyone who's selected acceptable. Uh, so I would definitely recommend that you select preferred. It keeps uh, your name at the top of the pile. It defaults to not acceptable. So if you've not come in here and set up the pitches where you're willing to referee, it will default to not acceptable. It's pretty much the same thing as being unavailable. So that's new market. Nope, forgot to show you. When you do that, you need to click submit if you make any changes. I'm also going to go in here to York. This is for the York region field. Again, you want to set up as many as possible under preferred. He's got a couple here that are just listed as acceptable. They're a little bit further away from where we live. Uh, but he is willing to go there. And uh, as you can see here, this one field here, Dr. Margaret Arkenstall West, this is a mini field in Newmarket. It can be found here only under York Region and not under Newmarket. You want to just make sure that you're very careful that you go through each one of these areas. Some of the uh, pitches might be put uh, underneath the wrong heading, but you want to make sure that you select the particular fields that you uh, want to be added to. Grade 23 
is a new field that's just been added to Ref Center, you definitely want to make sure that you have that one select, selected as well, and then click Submit. I've done our fields, and lastly, divisions. Just as important, but when you go into divisions, they default to none. So you want to go in here and select all of the divisions that you want to referee. Uh, strangely enough, actually, Ref Center is allowing uh, referees to select matches that they're not really qualified for. So uh, a level one small sided referee uh, can't be an assistant referee at all, but it's given those options. Uh, you can go in there and select all that you want to referee for. So uh, my son here needs YRSL U9 and U10 matches as well. Oops. We'll select those and we'll click submit to make sure that they go through. So these are the basic settings that you want to make sure that you uh, have a look at on Ref Center. I would advise anytime that you come back into Ref Center, have a look through. You never know. There may be new divisions or new pitches that have been added that you want to make sure that you're leaving yourself available for. For referees that are a level four or five higher, uh, you won't actually be able to go in here and select all the fields individually. It will just say, are you willing to do all the fields in New Market? Are you willing to do all the fields in New York? It just assumes that when you're at that level, uh, that you're mobile, that you've got a car, and once you're willing to go to New Market, that it wouldn't matter to you where in New Market. So, again, those are the basic settings. I would probably advise uh, that you go into My Account and under Release Email, uh, that you select release email and click submit. That allows teams of referees to be able to contact them through Ref Center. And I would also select Castle. This um, gives consent for the assigners to reach you uh, via email, and I would click submit there. So hopefully, this helps you out with accepting games.